morning everyone it's my day off which is fabulous because as many of you know if you follow me on instagram at 15 blades i'm doing my general surgery year right now and that means my schedule is really really rough i usually work about two weeks on and then i get one weekend off two weeks on one weekend off for a total of four days off a month and so it can be really rough and my days off are like as valuable as gold and so i try to do as much as possible on my day off i try to do a little bit of fun a little bit of errands a little bit of just relaxing and a whole lot of efficiency and checklists because the reality is i still need to do all the things that i need to get done on those days off but i also want to add in some fun some quality time with my fiance and my dog and my sister and friends and so it's usually jam packed i'm going to show you what a Sunday looks like on a typical weekend off. So let's go. And before you go anywhere, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, let me know what other content you want to see. That way I can keep producing the type of content you guys want. Favorite part of a day off, we get to finally spend a morning together having our coffee and enjoying a little bit of a peaceful morning so we're not rushing to get ready and leave the house and it's our favorite. One of my favorite things about the weekend is we actually have time to make breakfast. Well, I kind of like brunch a little bit more, but um, we're gonna make egg burritos and um, get to enjoy them together, which is not something we can do on a regular uh, weekday because we have to leave so early, so we usually just take things to go. Voila, beautiful egg burritos. Yum. Early's favorite part of Sunday is doing laundry, but it has to get done. We just finished laundry um, and we still have to clean the apartment. So going to vacuum and wipe the floors and everything is so dusty. You can even tell this desk is dusty. And then I have to do my meal prep for the week. I'm planning to do salads. Don't forget to watch my meal prep vlog. I show you how I do my grocery shopping and my salads. And this keeps me just like on track, healthy, and it saves money because I'm not eating out all the time and then I do schedule time for self-care because I only get one weekend off every two weeks and so I have to make sure that I'm doing face masks and doing my nails and taking baths and just like self-care stuff totally important on days off otherwise I'm gonna feel run down for the rest of the week um, and then I do have to make time for work so I'm gonna do some research some blogging because I do consider that part of my work um, have to make sure I create content um, and that is time that I need to set aside on my day off as well. All right, time to do my meal prep for the week. I'm gonna do salads this week. I actually have a great vlog on my usual meal preps, um, including what I buy and how I do it and some tips and tricks on how to keep it nice and fresh but I have it down to a T now, you guys, so it doesn't even take that much time. Um, I always have my berries washed so they're ready to go, whether I wanna put them on salad or bowls. I'm gonna put some cheese on there, um, some tofu. I'm not vegetarian, but I like to reduce my meat intake, and so I substitute this great organic baked tofu um, from Trader Joe's. Since it's summertime, I like making my salads nice and sweet, so this is a nice teriyaki flavor. I'll put almonds in there, some cranberries, some berries. My base is always a kale and I'm gonna try to throw in something new today I'm gonna try these um, dried figs that look so delicious and so that's going to be my meal prep good meal prep ready to go for a week of day shift I'm right now on my surgical oncology service and it gets super super busy and I want to stay healthy and this is my way of doing it so a very big task is complete on Sunday. My favorite weekend thing to do, hanging out with my sister Nora today. So happy she moved to Boston recently. She's at Harvard Business School. Maybe we will get her involved in some vlogs. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Comment below. We are gonna go on a hike. But when we have the day off, we try to do some outdoor activities because, you know, during coronavirus, we don't have a lot of options and so I'm uh, gonna go on a nice hike and we'll take you guys along. So 
So we're here. It's an absolutely beautiful reservation, you guys. There's a pond. People actually swim there. There's lifeguards. And then there's um, a uh, picnic site. And then many, many, many hiking trails that are like from easy to really, really difficult and range from 30 minutes to two hours. So I love this area. Um, this part is a little bit crowded. So I wear a mask around here and I kind of try to avoid this part unless it's a weekday and it's a little emptier. But once we get on the hike trails, they're actually mostly shaded and it's not as crowded. So usually nobody's around and we get to enjoy the hike. This has become one of our favorite traditions on days off. Um, that's one of the good things about the pandemic. Uh, not very many good things, but the one good thing is we've learned how to really go outside and do a lot of outdoor activities and just kind of go outside of our comfort zone. I never was a big hiker and now we do it all the time. and It's so much fun. Ooh, hike definitely got pretty intense. There are like steep parts of this hike and we are now officially super close to the top and hopefully it's downhill from here. Clearly today we chose go on the harder hike. I was trying to be impressive for this video but quickly regretting. Officially done with the walk and we did an hour and 46 minutes. That was a pretty good hike. And now it's time to go do my next favorite activity on a day off. You probably guessed it right. One of my favorite things to do on my day off is come to Home Goods and buy decorative pieces for my house. Things I don't even need. Like, I love this lamp. I want this lamp. Do I need this lamp? No, I don't but I might get this lamb. So we didn't do too bad. Usually I get suckered into a lot of decorative pieces, but today I just got a new rug, a new cookie sheet. Time for a little snack. I'm gonna have an acai bowl. I love making these, especially in the summer. I use the acai packets from Trader Joe's that are organic, some frozen blueberries. I freeze my own um, organic bananas, and then I'll do toppings like blueberries and strawberries. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, here are the acai bowls that I just made. They're strawberries, coconut flakes, um, almonds, and of course the acai base. And for the final step, I'm gonna add some chia seeds there. They're so good for you. And Chris didn't even want a bowl, but I made him one anyway. That's literally the story of our life. Okay, you guys, it's officially date night, which means I finally get dressed up and get ready to go out, which is like my favorite thing to do. Um, I am a big foodie, Chris and I, and so we definitely like to go out and eat. But more than that, it's just time for us to make sure that we're spending quality time together and to make sure that we make time to dedicate to our relationship as well as have a chance to just like dress up and get out of our ordinary everyday get into scrubs and go to the hospital routine so these date nights are super super important and honestly nowadays we don't get a ton of time off and so when we have a weekend off and they coincide together I'm super excited. We always book a restaurant. It's actually part of our monthly budgeting. We budget for um, days to go out and eat because that is a really important part of our relationship and how we make it work even though we don't spend a ton of time together given our crazy schedules. So we make it work and we make the best out of it. And I get to use all of my makeup, which I don't get to use during the week. So it's always a ton of fun. I'll do my face makeup, I'll do eyeshadow, I'll go all out and then I'll go outside, put on a mask and take off half my makeup. So 
that's never nice but I will get to do at least a little bit of eyeshadow a little bit of lipstick all things that I don't do during the week and so it's really special and I love date night we have been doing this since the beginning when we first started dating so it's a super important part of our relationship um, and I think if you are in medicine and you struggle in a um, either a long distance relationship or even when you're not long distance but you just have schedules that are either opposite or just really difficult to find time off then you gotta really put in a lot of time and effort to make it work and that's kind of what we do and you know it's hard but it's definitely worth it to have someone there who's supporting you someone you can rely on you can find in so it's all great So excited to try this place you guys it's outdoors it has a beautiful view and i've never been there before i'm excited that places have opened back up because of course during quarantine we had to kind of adjust our date night tradition we were doing like takeout in the car that was our date night which was very sad um and now that things have opened back up we're still really careful we only go to outdoor places that are practicing social distancing guidelines um just to be safe um and so we are glad that we still get like a taste of date night we get to dress up and go out and try new places but we're still trying to be safe so um, I'm excited to go try this place let's go okay, and we are on our way one of the things that have really changed since um, I've come to Boston is we've recently bought a car and so um, things have been a little bit different I used to walk everywhere I didn't have a car in New York I didn't have a car for the first three years in Boston so now we get to venture out a little bit outside the city um, and it's kind of exciting because we go try places all over so we're excited for tonight's dinner so we are waiting for our dinner and it's outdoor seating and look how beautiful our view is it's this gorgeous bridge right on the water that's what i love about outdoor dining oh my god you guys i am such a sucker for sandwiches and i just got a fish burger <laughs> yum and look at this gorgeous view and my handsome date back home so we can cuddle a little fluff monster he doesn't really love it when we go on date night but we come back home and give him a little extra attention and pretty much have to go and take off all my makeup which is one of my favorite parts at the end of the day and then get ready to go to bed because my wake up time is 4 30 in the morning tomorrow I'm working Chris is working and so um, we just have to basically wrap up the day now try to get a good night's sleep for the week ahead this is typically my day off I try to make some time to see family spend quality time with my fiance um, go and do some errands meal prep um, so that's typically what I try to do but I also always always have to make some time for myself so getting ready going out that's all um, for my own self so that I can kind of rejuvenate and reset for a busy busy work week ahead I hope you had fun with me on my day off go ahead and drop me a comment below let me know what other vlogs you'd like to see don't forget to subscribe and like this video and follow me on instagram at 15 blades for daily posts like this and more see you guys next time bye